Question 3. The car's remote control sends out radio waves of a frequency 27.0 MHz, three significant figures, and it tells you what that is, 27.0 times 10 to the 6 Hz. Hugo starts investigating the car's radio receiver by removing an inductor coil of inductance 1.00 times 10 to the minus 6 henrys. Show that the reactance of the inductor at this frequency is 170 Hz. Well, this is a plug and chug one. You've got a formula. Um, the reactance of the inductor equals... Uh, 2 pi f uh, l you just got to put the right numbers in 2 pi f is omega and you've got uh, 2 pi is 2 times 3.141592 whatever and um, times the frequency 27 megahertz but you've got to remember it's times 10 to the 6 um, and then you times it by the inductance here and that should give you a number of about 170 um, ohms remember ohms is the units for reactants Okay, uh, Hugo connects the inductor in series um, with a 47 ohm resistor. Calculate the RMS current through the resistor when this arrangement is connected to 5 volt AC supply, oscillating at 27 megahertz. Uh, so 27 megahertz, that means we can assume the reactance is the same for the inductor. We, we overall, um, we're trying to find the current, and it's the RMS current. So that's going to be I equals V RMS, so I RMS equals V RMS over the total impedance um, of, of the circuit. Um, so let's see, um, we're given I RMS, we're given V RMS, we don't have Z or Z, the impedance, but we have to do a little phase or um, addition to get that. Um, we've got the that sets an inductor, so we've got the inductance reactance 170, not to scale here by the way. We've got the resistance of the resistor is 47, you can see it's not to scale because my 47.0 I should say, um, because everything seems to be three significant figures so far. Um, so my, my reactance is going to be the vector sum of those two, so your 170 would come across here when you're doing top to tail addition. So it's the sums of the squares square rooted, so we're going to have uh, the 5 Point zero zero volts across um, 170 squared plus 47.0 squared and square rooted and your final answer for the RMS current should be uh, 0 0.0283 amps to three significant figures. Okay, moving on. C, a capacitor can be added in series to cause the, cause the circuit to resonate. So there's a resonance circuit, that's nice. By stating the conditions under which resonance occurs, calculate, so there's parts of this being given already, we've got to state conditions under which resonance occurs, and then calculate the capacitance needed to bring the circuit to resonance at this frequency. Okay, so the conditions under which resonance occurs is when um, the, um, the reactance of the capacitor is equal to the reactance of the inductor. Okay, and from that, um, we can take our uh, 170 ohms reactance of the inductor and uh, that should equal the reactance of the capacitor which is 1 over 2 pi f c uh, and we're trying to calculate the capacitance the frequency is still going to be the same in fact we probably should use our unrounded value um, of 169.6 oh, instead of 170 because you should use unrounded values when you're doing calculating um, our frequency is still going to be the same 27 uh, megahertz. You can see it in the circuit above up here. Um, and when you rearrange that and calculate for the capacitance, you should get the capacitance equal to 3.47. Again, three significant figures. 3.47 times 10 to the negative 11. This is a very small capacitance, farad. Okay, farads. Um, what's that in picofarads? 34 picofarads, I think. Which are, they're, they're, that's a reasonable value. They do suck capacitors like that. Okay, D. Excuse me. When two radio controlled cars. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Um, when two radio controlled cars are sold as a set, the second control uses 49.0 megahertz to avoid interference between the two radio signals. Explain why a circuit built to resonate at 27.0 megahertz does not respond to a 49.0 megahertz signal. As part of your answer, determine the current in the circuit in part C 
when the supply frequency is 27 megahertz and when the supply frequency is 49.0 megahertz. So they're, they're telling you everything here. We're giving you lots of hints. Okay, I'm going to circle uh, the important part. You're determining the current in the 27 uh, megahertz circuit, but when the supply frequency is 49 megahertz. Okay, so excuse me. You've got um, I. If we go back to our RMS calculation earlier, I RMS equals V RMS over Z, over the impedance. Um, when we're dealing with, <coughs> excuse me, when we're dealing with um, uh, the the, <laughs> the 27 megahertz um, uh, circuit, we we what do we calculate? Um, it was I'm just gonna scroll up. Um, I, I didn't actually give a calculation, but. Um, it was for for this z z value here. Um, we, we're going to put that in there. We get that current anyway. Oh, we don't. It doesn't matter. Oh, yes, it does. Hang on a minute. Mr. Height is a little bit confused. I'm going to pause and double check my um, circuit and my reasoning um, before I. Okay, that was only a few second pause. Um, what we've calculated here is a non-resonant circuit, so we can't just use our answer from there. Um, however, the answer is actually much simpler, the process is much simpler. Z, when it's at resonance, is just equal to the resistance anyway, so that's V over R. So we're going to have be 5 over uh, 47 ohms from just the resistive component, and that gives us a current of uh, 0.106 amps. Okay. And what what this is heading towards as well, when you determine the current, is that at resonance you're going to have the maximum current in the circuit, and um, when we're off resonance at 49 megahertz, that's going to really stuff up our um, our current flow on the circuit, and we're not going to get any signal causing the radio control car to go. So that's that's nice. Let's go to change of color um, because we now need to do the um, the the um, current for the circuit when it's not at resonance and this is going to be a little bit trickier because we've still got the same I and the same uh, sorry the same V which is 5 um, volt RMS supply but this time Z is no longer an easy thing so we have to calculate Z um, and Z is going to be um, the resistance squared plus the absolute value of the difference between the um, capacitance reactance and the inductance reactance. Um, so first of all at this different frequency I'm, I'm actually not going to go into this in, in a great deal of detail but I'm still going to tell you how to do it we're going to find the reactance of the capacitor um, and the reactance of the inductor um, using the same formulas as above uh, for the reactance of the inductor it's 2 pi FL um, and if you do that at 49 megahertz you will get uh, 307.9 ohms and for the reactance of the capacitor you're going to get uh, 96, no, sorry, 93.6 ohms so that's 1 over 2 pi F uh, C and then you're going to, when you do this calculation 307.9 minus 93.6 and you square that and you add it to the 47 uh, squared and then you square root, it gives you a Z value and total impedance of your circuit of 219 ohms and then uh, when you carry on with that and do the, the actual I calculation it's going to be 5 over 219 um, which is going to give you something really small compared to the other one is only 0.0228 uh, amps okay so um, the whole point here is um, you're, when you're not at resonance you have a much smaller current, we've shown that by the calculation um, and uh, I guess the toy, the toy car is not going to react to the, um, or respond, I should be careful using the word react when we talk about reactants, but it won't respond to the smaller current, it won't be enough to make the circuitry work. Um, and that's how, it goes. That's how all um, signal receiving devices work. There you go.